I call the member for Cornwall. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I move the motion relating to National Stroke Week in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it's a pleasure to be moving this uh, very important private member's motion today because it addresses a very significant health issue in our community which so often goes unattended and also sees people suffer often unnecessarily. Um, I want to firstly begin by uh, informing the House that uh, in this parliamentary term I will be taking over from the recently retired member for Shortland uh, as co-convener of the Parliamentary Friends of the Heart Foundation and the Strike Foundation. Thank you. I'd like to thank my friend and former colleague Jill Hall, the member for Shortland, for her tireless work in the years that she held this role. Um, she brought a passion and a commitment, which, uh, Deputy Speaker, I think is going to be a bit of a hard act to follow. Um, I do certainly, however, hope to strive to emulate her strong advocacy and practical efforts in ensuring that in this place raising awareness about heart disease remains a high priority. I also look forward to working with my co-chair, the Federal Member for Capricornia, Michelle Landry. I'm extremely pleased to be part of this collaborative approach and I look forward to working closely with both, both the Stroke Foundation and the Heart Foundation to develop new ways in which Parliament can help promote the prevention and better management of cardiovascular disease through the activities of the Friendship Group. Um, Deputy Speaker, I was also pleased this morning to meet with Professor John Kelly, the CEO of the Heart Foundation, and uh, Ms Sharon McGowan, the CEO of the Stroke, the Stroke Foundation, and of course I look forward to working with them as well. Um, Deputy Speaker, it is the suddenness and often randomness of heart attacks and stroke uh, that is most striking and devastating for sufferers and their families. This story is all too familiar, and today, um, Deputy Speaker, my thoughts are also with my good friend and the Victorian Minister for Sports and Major Projects, the Honourable John Erin, who on Father's Day suffered a heart attack himself. Um, John, who is thankfully recovering well, was on his way to visit his own father when he began experiencing sharp chest pains. He took swift action, driving straight to the hospital, where he indeed suffered a heart attack and was immediately rushed into surgery and attended to. Uh, I want to pass on my thoughts and best wishes to John and his family as he makes a full recovery and return to work. I also want to commend him um, for his quick thinking and fast action because, Deputy Speaker, timing can make all the difference when it comes to a stroke and heart conditions. Uh, but September 12th to the 18th is National Stroke Week and during this week uh, we will play a role, all of us, in raising awareness about stroke. Uh, Deputy Speaker, too many people in our community are unaware of the signs of stroke. Too many people uh, who suffer strokes endure longer recovery periods, uh, they endure more damage and even, uh, unfortunately, death because they did not seek medical attention urgently and when most needed. Um, now, um, Deputy Speaker, in the uh, time that I'm speaking in this House, a person suffering from a stroke will have lost almost 10 million brain cells and in only five minutes, the length, the, the length of my speech uh, without oxygen can cause permanent brain damage. Therefore, recognising the signs of stroke and acting quickly is extremely important. And to help with this, the Stroke Foundation is promoting the simple uh, to learn and remember four-point test known as FAST, the FAST test. Um, of course, F is for face, and the first thing you need to think about is, has my face drooped? Um, A for arms, can I lift both my arms? Uh, S for speech, uh, is my speech slurred? And finally, T for time, because time, if any of these signs are present, time is critical and people are urged to seek uh, attention, or certainly those who are in the presence of someone who may be having a stroke uh, are urged to uh, seek medical attention immediately. Uh, this very important message must be promoted in the wider community, including and especially in culturally and linguistically diverse communities, such as my own constituency in Cornwall, to ensure that the public are able to recognise the signs, seek help sooner rather than later, and therefore uh, minimise the damage which uh, a stroke can cause, um, and of course ultimately maximising uh, chances of recovery, um, which um, 
often um, may result in the passing of someone. Stroke occurs, uh, Deputy Speaker, when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted. Some strokes are fatal and others can cause permanent or temporary disability. Stroke kills more women than breast cancer and more men than prostate cancer. One in six Australians will have a stroke in their lifetime, yet only 50 per cent of Australians know the sign of a stroke.